OK, here we have a percentage decrease question. It's a star question. It's a very silly star question. I'll tell you why in a minute. Um, decrease 632 by 7.5%. Now, the easiest way of doing this is to realise if we're decreasing by 7.5%, we are actually working out 92.5%. And therefore, we need to adjust to multiply by 0.925. And that would give us the answer. So... Bring in the calculator. So 632 times 0.925 gives us 584.6. Now, other way of doing it is the sort of standard way you might have been taught lower down is to work out the 7.5% by doing 7.5 divided by 100. Work that out, and that would you do it on the calculator, but the answer is 47.4. And then do 632 minus 47.4, and that would still give you the 584.6. But it takes a few extra steps. It's just one really calculation to work out there. Now, there's two marks for, um, well, there's one mark for if you, if this is seen or this is seen, you get a, just get a mark for the site of that. Or if you use this method, if you got to here, that's a method mark. Um, then there was a mark for doing this multiplication or doing this subtraction and then there's a mark for the answer. Now the answer mark is the extra star mark has to have a zero on the end. So because it's money if you don't put the zero on the end you only get two marks. So that's the extra star mark is for being accurate in your answer putting a zero on the end. That's why it's a little bit silly but that's always been the case. If you write a money answer without without the zero on the end, make it in, up to pence, so 60 pence, you would have lost a mark. So three marks for that.